the new season is here. So I've landed at every medallion POI, and here's how I'm actually able to get it almost every time. Starting with the Underworld, which has the Siphon Medallion, you want to make sure you're dropping to land at this part of the building that has a guaranteed god chest. Quick tip, these chests do not give mats, so don't try to build directly after opening them. Now where you go next depends on the bus path. If the bus path was more to the east side, your loot route is going to be the one I'm showing now, which takes you more towards the west side. This path has a high amount of item spawns in a small area, but don't get caught up trying to get every single item spawn because not all of them are worth it. The goal is to get as much loot as possible and as little time as possible, so be quick. Once you exit the arena, you need to farm all this brick back here and some wood. Make sure you get this god chest too that's tucked away hiding back here because most people don't realize that it's here. Once you're looted up, you can make brick boxes at this top corner of the arena and now you're ready to fight the boss. Now if the bus path is more to the west, you still want to land at the god chest towards the top of the building, but this time, once you run out and check the item spawns on the floor and determine which ones are worth grabbing, you're going to want to break down again, get this chest, and then drop down into this area and sprint over to the hanging chest, which you can break by just placing a floor. Then you want to drop down and run into this little pocket that has a god chest, and be aware that you can't build on these arches, so make sure to break and replace them. Then you're going to heal up with whatever shield you got. After you heal, your next goal is to get out of this area because you should have enough loot already, so you don't want to get caught up in all the fighting that goes on. You can head north to escape, pick up whatever loot is on the way, and make it back to this brick refarm area. This is a good spot to farm because it doesn't have a lot of chests, which means people aren't going to land here, so this should be free enough to get max brick and some wood. Once you're done, you can make a few boxes in this corner of the arena, and then go and start the boss fight. People are going to try and contest you during the boss fight, but you should have the best loot at this POI, so just be confident if you need to fight. Next up, in my opinion, is the easiest medallion to get, and that's Grim Gate. Regardless of bus path, I personally always land the same spot that always has 5 barrels and a god chest. This little section of the POI has a ton of chests in one area, but they're pretty exposed so make sure that you're aware of anybody looking for a fry on you or anyone dashing around near you. Once you get all these chests, the objective is to get as many mats as possible, so you want to dash east over to these bricks. There's also a chest spawn at the very east of this island, and another one a bit south of that in case you need a bit more loot. Once you've farmed up enough, you can make boxes east of the challenge statue, but make sure you build boxes above the bottom layer too, so two layers up, because people are going to push you and it helps to have pre-made boxes on another layer. Also make sure you kill the wolves and boss from deep inside your box like I'm doing here. For Brawler's Battleground, the theme continues of landing on a god chest. Regardless of bus path, I pretty much do the same thing every time, which is instantly opening this chest and smacking the barrels for some shield as well as builds. After this, you have to drop down to grab this chest on the floor and then the other chest right above it. You need to loot this whole building, but if there's another player that decided to land here as well, you need to fight them and try and end that fight quickly. If you drag it out because you're afraid to die, you're just going to scuff yourself and you're not going to be able to get the medallion. After you've looted the building, you're going to want to farm in this secluded area over here. You should be able to get capped wood and around 300 something brick, maybe more if you farm everything. Once you've done that, you make the same kind of base as you would at Grim Gate in this corner of the arena. If you have fizz, you can pop a little bit in order to jump to the challenge statue so you can get there quicker. But if not, just run over there. Box yourself, then challenge the boss and run back to your base. You need to use wood on this little rotate to avoid getting cracked by other players at the POI. It's okay if you use around 300 wood, just make sure you don't get beamed by someone else. Once you're at your base, it's much easier to kill these bots because you're in such an isolated area. And finally, the most difficult POI in my opinion, Mount Olympus. As you can see, the thing that I do differently for this medallion is that I don't actually land at the POI. I'm not sure how games go for you guys, but it seems like every time I try to land Mount Olympus, it seems like half the lobby's there. So I've developed this strategy instead. There's a lot of space in between loot, but as long as you guys follow the route that I'm taking here, you should be able to get it done with fairly quickly. The main thing you need to do once again is to make sure you are farming. By the time you reach Mount Olympus you need to have 500 wood and 500 brick or else you're not going to have enough mats for the boss fight and you will get cleaned up by a third party while fighting Zeus. You don't get a ton of loot from this strategy, however it is consistently enough loot to always be able to fight. It also ensures that you don't have to deal with all the off spawn chaos that actually goes down at the POI. Once you have arrived at the challenge area, you're going to want to make a ton of boxes, more than Brawl battleground because the boss spawns directly on top of you in these boxes. Also be careful of building on zip lines. make sure you don't do that. You can even use your wood to make a little tarp to the challenge statue and then run back into your boxes to fight Zeus. He's pretty easy to kill the first time but once he gets that little bubble around him you have to go fight the
the bots that spawn, which is when you're most likely going to get third-partied from another player. I really hope this helped you guys, and good luck in your future games. Peace!